Hello and welcome to Big Tech Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to create and save custom brushes using either shapes you've created on your own or shapes you found here within Photoshop. We will start by going to File, then New. Once you have a new menu, set your height and width in pixels. I like to stay within about 500 by 500. Then click OK. Next you will create your shape. I am going to be using custom shapes found here in Photoshop and in order to get to them go to your rectangle tool click and hold then go down to custom shape tool release now you can go to your shape picker here click on a shape click and drag on your document to create that shape if you want to add more go back to the shape picker select your next shape click and drag on your document to create the next shape now, if say this is what you wanted to save as a brush, you go to your rectangular marquee tool, click and drag around your entire shape to make it a selection, go to edit, define brush preset, give it a name, and click OK. Next you'll want to save your brush. In order to do so, you will go to your brush tool, which is this icon here, then go to your brush picker here, go to the gear icon, and go to preset manager. In here, you can click on the brush you want to save, and you can select multiples if you like by holding the control button. In my case, I am just saving that one. Then clicking on save set. Give your set a name, and click on save then hit done. It is important to save your brushes because for example if you go back to your brush picker then go to your gear icon if you load an entirely different set of brushes your custom brush will no longer be available but since we saved it you can go to your gear icon go to load brushes select your brush that you want to load click on load and as you can see it will load that brush into your current set. In order to use it you will click on your brush, adjust the size here to the size you want, make sure you have your background selected and if you're following along with me you will still have a selection on your page and in order to get rid of that selection you will hit Control D on your keyboard to deselect or you can go to select then deselect. Now that we have our brush still selected, you can go and start laying your brush down. If you need to change your brush color, simply go to your foreground color picker here, select a new color, click OK, and now you have a different color brush. Thank you for visiting Big Tech Tutorials. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful and have fun creating your own custom brushes.